So good afternoon, uh, good morning for those who are west to Paris. Uh, we are just waiting for people to connect, so we will start in a few minutes. here at the Royal Monceau Rappers Paris in the Matsuisha restaurant. It's very sunny in Paris, very warm too. Summer has arrived. Has arrived, exactly. So we'll start in one minute. We try to be very precise, which is not usual for French people, <laughs> because we are normally always late, but for once we are on time. Dep depending on which region. <laughs> a little bit more precise when you go to the east, <laughs> and a little bit less when you go to south. To south, yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's true. It's true. It's true. But at the Royal Monceau, we are always on time. <laughs> <laughs> Even in Advent. <laughs> <laughs> So let's start. So good, uh, good morning, good afternoon for those who are west or east, uh, or even uh, in the Middle East, because I know that uh, we have some clients from Middle East today. Let me introduce myself. I'm Pascal Bizantener. I'm the Vice President of Luxury Sales for Accor, uh, and I'm so happy to be here at the Royal Monceau Rapports Paris. Uh, let me introduce uh, Pierre Hermé, who is the chef, the pastry, the pastry chef uh, from. Uh, uh, the Royal Monceau, and also Christophe Thomas, who is the new general manager of this fantastic property. Christophe, uh, you have been uh, for 20 years in, in, in the US, and now you are moving back to France. So how do you feel it? Yeah, that has been really exciting. I just moved a few months ago back after 20 years spent in the United States. And uh, I have dual citizenship, but originally from France, and it was wonderful to come back home. And there's no better place than coming to the uh, Royal Monceau Raffles Paris. Good. So what is new at the Royal Monceau? Because we are closed, unfortunately, for the moment. Uh, we just opened a kitchen specially for that master class. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm sure that you have a lot of news from the Royal Monceau. Absolutely. So that's really, the, we are really uh, always reinventing ourselves. So the Royal Monceau Raffles Paris is really uh, connecting with the local community. So we always want to do something new and exciting, but at the same time, we are really uh, looking for what's, what's new and what's going to be really interesting for the consumer of tomorrow. And we have just launched yesterday the beautiful Appartement Privé 41 Osh, a private apartment. It's absolutely stunning uh, apartment with more than 3,000 square feet apartment, 350 square meter, uh, very spacious, one apartment per floor, and uh, that you really can live like a Parisian, well, like a very uh, uh, f fortunate Parisian in a beautiful uh, apartment. And what we offer to you, we have a service of butler service, which is really uh, what's going to cater to all your needs uh, from art exhibits that you can visit to have access also to the pool of the wow. uh, of a palace and the private which sessions is, in the pool. Which is one of the largest pool in Paris. Absolutely. In in Paris. Yeah. And you can have it to, for yourselves, wow. exclusively for yourselves. And also we can arrange from uh, drinks and outdoors. So it's quite remarkable. I know it's, it's exactly what people expect at the moment, just to be safe and just to be uh, away from too many people, but also in the best location in Paris because uh, Royal Monceau is in the best location in Paris, just next to the Champs Elysees, next to the Printemps Galerie Lafayette. So it's a fantastic location. I love it. Okay, so thank you so much, um, Christophe, uh, for this introduction. And I'm so happy to have you as a colleague now. And welcome uh, back. And Mr. Hermé, uh, now uh, you, <coughs> you have the stage for you. Uh, for you. And you, you will be able to explain you uh, explain us sorry uh, how to cook and i'm so so excited to to discover what you are cooking now and we just Thank need you. to mention that 
really that you have been named the Picasso of a pastry, right? So really the thing is we are so fortunate mm -hmm. about the partnerships and the collaborations and having Pierre Hermé in our, in our hotel really. And for the partnership for the last 10 years, that's absolutely stunning. And uh, when you stay at the Royal Monceau Raffles Paris, you have a great opportunity uh, to have these amazing uh, pastries and desserts that absolutely amazing every single time. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me to do this masterclass. Um, good afternoon, good morning, or good uh, evening. I don't know from where you look. And uh, I just want to introduce uh, the recipe. The recipe is a tart infinitely chocolate with fleur de sel. Tart infinitely chocolate with fleur de sel. And to work with me, I will introduce uh, Arnaud Coutre, who is the executive pastry chef of the hotel. And uh, we'll do this start for you uh, now. Mr. This Hermé, if I, if I remember well, it's, it's, a, it's a new recipe you created just for that master class. Yes, I, I did this new recipe because it's very simple very easy to make and very, very good. So amazing good. <laughs> uh, there are two parts of this recipe. One is a uh, dough, uh, a short crust with uh, fleur de sel and pieces of chocolate inside. You have uh, brown sugar, normal sugar, and um, uh, cocoa powder, baking soda and flour. And here the pieces of uh, chocolate chunks. So first we start to mix the butter to have it at um, very smooth, very creamy te uh, texture. And at the same time, we will sift together the, the flour the baking soda and the cocoa powder. And why do you do that? Just to keep all the... Because you, you see why? Because you, if you, if you ah, don't okay. do this, you have pieces of uh, cocoa. Okay, uh, yeah. I will do the same now. <laughs> and... Um, now Arnaud will mix the, the sugar. Why do you have two types of sugar? Uh, we have this in our recipe because the cane sugar, non-raffinated cane sugar gives taste. So that's why we make a, a mix. But you can also uh, use coconut sugar. You can also use uh, uh, on, sugar from Okinawa. Uh, the black sugar of Okinawa from Japan. You can also uh, use rapadura with, um, come on, from um, uh, Mauritius Island. So just mix together. And now, you can do this recipe also in a mixer. Uh, in a, but I prefer to do it by hand. So if you don't have a mixer, you have a chance to make the recipe. And it's very easy. Just mixing the ingredients, nothing uh, complicated by uh, the preparation of this recipe. No, we, we have just to mix until we have a, a real dough. And is it for how many people? Ah, depending if, uh, depending. <laughs> depending if, yeah, if uh, you're hungry or not. Because when you start to eat this tart, with the crunchiness of the, the dough, the smoothness and the, the and intensity of the ganache, you will eat, you will start with a small piece and then after we'll have a second and third. So probably for six or for four. Or for two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's very, very intense in chocolate flavor. The um, come on, the um, 
the pieces in, of chocolate inside the dough that enforce the, the, the taste of, uh, of chocolate. So you always put the hand in, the, in it. It's much better with the hand because you can feel it. Or yes, it's a question of also feeling. And, uh, but if you make it the mix in a mixer, it goes easier. Yeah. We will do the, the dough at uh, eight millimeter to one centimeter. So the circle is 20 centimeter. Okay, you just push like that. Okay, great. Just easy, very, very, very easy. And what we will do with this, we, we will do some small sablé. We have some here. And it's what is important also in this recipe is to come on to bake not too much the, the dough because um, we bake it for the big pieces we bake it 15 minutes at 170 degrees Celsius 170 degrees Celsius 15 minutes not more that means the in the middle would be a bit uh, chewy and very crusty on the on the edges. Okay. No, we go to bake. Yes. Okay. Okay. And with the the rest. A and that's a miracle of that master class because uh, it will be cooked very quickly. I love very much this sablé because the, the edges are very crispy and inside it's a little bit chewy, a little bit ma uh, mild. Yes. I don't know how you do that because when I try to do that, it's never round, it's never very precise. So it's. Uh, what makes the difference in between a chef and just uh, in somebody who just lo love to, to cook but doesn't know very well. For the, the second preparation is the ganache. Ganache is with uh, three ingredients. Cream, cr liquid cream, uh, chocolate, melted chocolate, and butter at room temperature. Uh, the, the, the chocolate is a chocolate um, with 64% of cocoa. Also, you can use uh, another chocolate with guanara at um, come on, 100 and uh, no, 70% uh, of cocoa. You bake both together. This one, 11 minutes. This one, 15 minutes. The chocolate is a little bit melt, not completely melt. And uh, the butter is at room temperature and we boil the, the cream. We boil, we boil the cream for two reasons, because to be sure that the cream will not separate, and also to make it, to mix it at the right temperature. So do, is it, there is a question, do you have a preferred brand or, or, or not? Because they, they, they ask- For the a, chocolate? For the chocolate, they, speak, they, they talk about berry, Barry, Barry we, we mostly uh, work with, uh, we work with uh, Valrona. Valrona is a French company based in Tal Hermitage. And they, some of the chocolate we use uh, are made specially for us, coming from one plantation. And it's specially done for us. We have a pure origin Brazil plant plantation from uh, uh, Paineras, also from Belize, uh, from Peru. Um, we, are, we have some specific uh, 
chocolate made with uh, one origin, one farm, uh, and we adapt the, the roasting of the beans and uh, the combination with the sugar to each type of uh, cocoa bean. Okay. How, how many kilos or tons of chocolate do you use per year? 150 tons. 150 tons. Wow. So we, we make uh, half, uh, um, one third of the, the cream inside. And we, you mix like uh, a mayonnaise from the center to the edges. Ganache, it's a very simple pre preparation. It's the same uh, type of uh, preparation than a mayonnaise. You, you start with the liquid to, to bring the liquid inside very uh, sm smooth. One third. And the ganache uh, has to be very, uh, very uh, perfect mixing because if you don't have the, the perfect texture, your ganache will be not so smooth in your palate. We have people from Caracas, from Mumbai, from Mexico, from Buffalo, New York, New York State. So we have people from all over the world at the moment connected. So no, the, Paris too. the ganache is ready. And we stir the, the butter inside. When did you start your career? Oh, I started my career a long time ago, in uh, 1976. And, um, but I am uh, from a family of four generation of uh, baker and pastry chef. So, okay. so it's a tradition in it's the family? It's a tra tradition in uh, the family. And did you learn with your family? No, I had the chance to learn in uh, Paris with uh, Gaston Le Nôtre. And, uh, uh, I, I worked six years for Gaston Le Nôtre. And then you started your, your own company? No, I, I worked also 11 years for uh, Fauchon. And also I was consulting for two years for La Durée. Okay. And now you have shops all over the world? We have uh, 60, uh, 52 uh, shops and uh, in 12 uh, countries. In the US, for example, we are uh, at Saks Fifth Avenue. Uh, in the restaurant L'Avenue, and we have a small shop inside the restaurant. So the ganache is ready. Nice. What you can make is making a mixing with the mixer. So we have our uh, ring of baked uh, chocolate short crust. Should be uh, completely baked and completely uh, cold. The, if the, the biscuit, the short crust is warm, it doesn't work. So completely cold. When it comes from the oven, it needs one and a half hour to be very completely cold. The whole quantity of ganache inside the, the tart.
Oh. And it's finished, it's easy. Now we put this uh, tart in the fridge for one hour, one and a half hour, but we have done another one to go quicker. <laughs> yeah, because we, we love to be with you, but I know that you are very busy too, so that's why, but yeah. And you will do the decoration now. Yes. Fantastic. You can use a, a knife like this, or you can use also um, a hair dryer. Yes, hair dryer. To put the hair dryer on, on the ring, it goes very, very fast, or the knife. <laughs> so. Do you have an air dryer at the hotel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> In the hotel, we have always hair dryer. Yeah. And uh, we will do some. Um, chocolate uh, flakes or we can put some chocolate pieces with fleur de sel inside i will make both on the tart and this uh, with the i do this with uh, apple peeler and uh, the end of the apple peeler just on the chocolate Some people uh, don't listen carefully because they ask again what is the temperature of the oven and how long. The <laughs> oven, the oven is 170 Celsius uh, for the tart and 15 minutes. 15 minutes yeah. uh, more bigger is the the dough, more time you have to leave it in the in Sorry. the oven. And the lucky one we will be able to test it at the end, mm -hmm. so don't be jealous. <laughs> it's easy. You can do only uh, chocolate shaving or like we do, like we did the both. Could we add some fruit on the top if we want, if people like it, or is there any fruit? We can make customization of this tart. Very, very easy uh, with having inside some caramelized almonds, some caramelized hazelnut, some pistachio, uh, and also we could put on the top some half of uh, raspberry or with also uh, a good um, passion fruit uh, compote. Uh, we can customize the start very easy. And so we have to cut it. I oh, know we, we have to take a picture first. Yeah, <laughs> we need to take a picture. Oh, thank you. It's any amazing. You, you saw any question from uh, the, oh, the... I'm pretty the sure we'll have some questions. So if you have any question to Pierre Hermé, please do not hesitate because it's quite unusual to, to have the be uh, lucky as we are today to have Pierre Hermé just for us, so do not hesitate. Uh, use the chat to ask any question you want, and I will let you know after that uh, how good it is, because I'm pretty sure it's good. Uh, Mr. Hermé, there, there is a question uh, about um, what is your favorite type of chocolate? I have, I like different chocolate. In the moment, my favorite is the one we have coming from Belize. Um, it's 64% of cocoa, and it's made specially for us. But 
what I can say, the best chocolate is the, the one you like. Uh, could be dark, could be uh, milk chocolate, uh, is the one you like. So, and is there any wine we can pair with a tart like that? Um, in myself, I would have uh, uh, Japanese green tea, Sencha green tea. But uh, you can have also some uh, port wine or some mori wine. Or so I, it's a South African wine uh, I like very much. It's called Klein Constantia. And it's very good with chocolate. It's a sweet wine. Is it latest uh, uh, late harvest? Late harvest, coming from South Africa. It's amazing uh, wine. And um, also, you can have a very good coffee. Uh -huh. uh, and this uh, today, somebody say, oh, what, what happens about ice wine? Ice Canadian wine, yes. ice wine. Exactly, yeah. So I want to taste this. Uh, I would we love we to, to taste this. Uh, that, that, will be, that will be your mission, Christophe, to find a <laughs> Canadian ice wine. And, and then we will try with uh, Pierre Hermé the, the, the start. Yeah, it's good. You, you, you I made some small pieces, but you can have a second no, one. No, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay for the moment. No. Also, you, 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 you talk about Japan. Yes, there is something special for you in between you and Japan. Uh, yes, because uh, it's a long time I... I go to Japan and I make some uh, classes there and, uh, and Japan was the first, um, uh, come on, the, the first destination for the company because we opened our first shop in Tokyo in a hotel, the new Otani Hotel and uh, it's a little tiny shop of 14 square meters and it, it was the first shop of the company. And, um, now we have uh, 18 shops in Japan, and uh, after France is the second biggest uh, country for us. Yeah, but they love the French uh, cuisine and they love also the French pastry, so that's, that's also why. And we have quite a lot of, and we want more uh, at the Royal Morceau Raffles Paris, for sure. There is a question regarding the, uh, the, the shape of, of, of the top. I, 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 I do we have to do round when you cook it, or we can make something different, different shape? or? You can make it uh, as a star, you can make it as a uh, as a oval, as a square or rectangle, uh, just to have the same proportion. proportion. That's uh, the, the most important. It's the same uh, amounts of uh, uh, crust and the, the same amounts of, uh, ganache. of ganache. That's the, the, the most important uh, part. Yeah, just to have something which is very balanced well. in between, yes. There is another question about, the, because people are very creative and some people ask, what's about a uh, uh, white chocolate topping? Uh, everything is possible. So why not white cho chocolate topping? But I try to keep it pure, in a pure uh, uh, ch dark chocolate taste. So that's why I don't put milk chocolate on top. I don't put some uh, white chocolate on top. But it, it's possible. Everything is possible. Just I want to keep it, keep it uh, pure. Pure chocolate, dark chocolate taste. Yeah. There is a question also, a propo uh, let's say a proposal. The, the chocolate pasty you added to the doubt, is it melted? The chocolate? Uh, the, the chocolate pasty, you know, the, the smaller you showed it, or you put it inside, yeah. Ah, this one is, it's uh, chocolate with uh, a little bit of fleur de sel inside. Okay. And it's uh, melted, tempered, and after between two layers of plastic, uh, very, very thin, you can see it's very, very thin. Yes, and you have some peaks of uh, fleur de sel coming, just uh, your mouth, yeah. yes. But you have not a, sal a salty taste. That's uh, important, and it's the same with the with the short crust. The short you have some peaks of salt. That's the interest to use the the fleur de sel. Th there is a question regarding when you put together the cream, one third of cream with the melt chocolate, why don't we put all the cream at the same time? Because uh, as, a, as, a, 
I explained, it's, a, it's like a mayonnaise, it's an emulsion. So when you put every uh, cream in one time, you cannot do the, the, the right emulsion, like the mayonnaise. So that's why when you do mayonnaise, you add the liquid time to time, and it's the same with the ganache. There is a difficult question for you, Mr. Hermé, because somebody asked, who is your favorite chef? By savory or by, by pastry? Uh, no, I, I think they speak about restaurant, yes. Ah, the restaurant, oh. I have so many friends, uh, chef, so uh, here we are in the restaurant Matsuisa, and uh, I like very much Nobu Matsuisa, so it's one of my favorite chefs. But I also have a very good friend with Ferran Adria, a very good friend with Alain Ducasse, and other chefs all over the world. And always when I go in a restaurant, I, I, I meet a friend because ah. we do the same L job. L lucky you are, lucky you are. So if we need a table, we can give you a call and <laughs> you will call your chef. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm just joking. But thank you so much, Mr. Thank you. Elmay, for, for that. Thank and, you very much. And, and perhaps because we, we had also some questions regarding the hotel. So a lot of people want to discover the hotel. So we'll have a good opportunity because uh, uh, perhaps you can say a few words uh, in conclusion, but uh, also we, 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 organize, uh, we are organizing a competition and uh, Pierre Hermé and Christophe will choose the 10 best recipe uh, made by yourself uh, around the world. Uh, and these people will be invited for three nights at the Royal Monceau uh, Raffles Paris. And they will also have a live session, a live masterclass with Pierre Hermé here in Paris. So as you could see, a lot of people. So please do not hesitate to send us your uh, video, your pictures of your recipe, and, and, and then we will uh, try to make our choice uh, together. But thank you so much, Pierre Hermé, and, and perhaps the last word for you, uh, Christophe. Thank you. Well, the smell is absolutely amazing as, as always. I'm sure you probably get the same at home when you're going to bake it. Um, you have to come and visit us at the Royal Monceau Raffles Paris because you will experience these amazing pastries. Uh, you might get a few, a few pounds, but uh, we have an amazing workout room. You have an amazing swimming pool. So you have a lot of, uh, of place to, to burn the calories, but uh, it's absolutely a great experience. And we hope to have a great pleasure of welcoming you to the Royal Monceau Raffles Paris and Pierre. It has been absolutely amazing to work together, to have you Thank in the you. last 10 Thank years you. in the property and we love the collaborations. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Have a very good day to, to, to everybody. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, uh, according where you are uh, around the world. Uh, we were very happy to be live from the Royal Monceau Raffles Paris today. Thank you, Pierre Hermé. Thank you, Christophe Thomas, uh, for your welcome. And next uh, session will be in a few days at the Raffles in Singapore, just to test uh, some good uh, cocktail. Have a very good day. Bye-bye. Thank Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.